Well, five years ago tonight, we were dealing with the ramifications of an incredibly storm, uh, incredibly strong storm complex called a derecho. It happened on June 29th, 2012, roughly from around 7:30 through 10 o'clock. Got to keep in mind that earlier in the day, five days ago or five years ago, I should say, we had record heat. The overnight low on June 29th, 2012, was 84. The high that day was 104. That was tied for the hottest day we ever had in the month of June. Peak wind gusts among uh, some of these storms in the derecho. 81 miles per hour at the Roanoke Blacksburg Regional Airport. I actually had a wind gust up to 88 miles per hour in White Sulphur Springs. By the way, that uh, peak wind gust at the uh, airport in Roanoke was reaching around 908. Power outages over 4 million along this line of showers and thunderstorms that did accompany this derecho. So that was five years ago today. The derecho, anytime you even mention that word around here anymore, folks really get kind of afraid and rightfully so. That derecho certainly uh, impacted so many folks. And uh, I'll tell you what, five years ago, I know I'll never forget that night. It was uh, one of the worst uh, bits of weather we've ever had to deal with. All right, here's a look at the radar and you'll notice friends that it is a clean sweep on the radar. What a difference five years makes. You know, five years ago tonight we were dealing with the drain show. Now we're dealing with high pressure. Thankfully showers and thunderstorms in areas south of us, also in areas north and west of us. Eventually we're going to have a better chance for some rain moving in here pretty soon because we're kind of surrounded by rain. Now for tonight we are looking at skies partly cloudy. Cloudy. Friday starts with uh, partly sunny skies and then as we head into the early afternoon, I think we will have a few thunder showers around a better chance for some passing thunder showers later in the afternoon into the evening hours. I think after midnight we're going to see this energy start to wind down and then Saturday will start dry. But as we head into Saturday afternoon, you guessed it, there will be a flare up of uh, some more scattered thunder showers. So on Saturday, if you're heading to Smith Mount Lake in the morning, you're fine. Mix of sun and clouds at 9 a.m. Temperatures in the 70s, but after lunchtime, I would keep an eye to the sky with high temperatures on Saturday at Smith Mount Lake, likely reaching the upper 80s. Winds will be out of the uh, southwest anywhere between around 4 and 10 miles per hour. Looking ahead to the 4th of July, that is on Tuesday. Uh, most of the fireworks around here start around 9 30, 10 o'clock, and there could still be a spotty thunder shower around, but I'm cautiously optimistic that if there are any thunder showers around on the 4th of July, most of them will be done by the time the fireworks go up. 70 right now in Lynchburg, 74 in Roanoke, also in Whitfield, 67 in Martinsville. Dew points have gone up today. It's certainly muggier outside right now than it has been. Dew points for us in the 60s. Dew points to the south of us, so in the 70s. And with a southerly flow, all that heat and humidity to the south is coming in our direction over the next two days. For tonight, 66 for your overnight low. Scattered clouds were pretty mild. And then for the day tomorrow, we're looking at your three degree guarantee high right around 86. Extended forecast mid to upper 80s this weekend, near 90 on Monday and also on the 4th of July. Middle 80s on Wednesday and Thursday. The chance for rain does go down a wee bit Sunday, Monday into the 4th of July with the rain chances going up as we head to Wednesday and Thursday of next week. Today we forecast 87 well, actual high. Woohoo! 87 $100 in the pot, $720 so far raised.